How many of them are, are there all together? To make the perfect sound. So Jesus can work it out if you let him. Jesus can work it out. A choir must learn to create one voice from many. Jesus can work it out if you let Jesus can work it out. But teamwork is nothing new for this group. Oh, yeah. It's one thing for them to have it on the field, but when we have it here on stage in the choir room. Each of these men once played in the NFL, and a handful, like Denver Broncos offensive lineman Max Garcia, still do. I actually got into singing um, after a breakup I had in college. I think I'll make it. Kind of found out that my voice was, wasn't too bad. Year after year, the Super Bowl Gospel Choir shows what happens when players trade sideline huddles for harmonies. We've been together for a very long time um, today, and uh, we're going to be together a little bit before the show as well. And we have that locker room atmosphere. The choir has one night to prepare the two songs they'll sing during the nationally televised 20th anniversary NFL Gospel Celebration this Saturday. Other than the game, I, I think it's really the most inspirational part of the week for me. While these men may be a part of the elite 1% to make it to the NFL, music can pose new challenges. I have to shore them up and encourage them that, hey, you can do this. You know, it's not like you're finna record an album, we're just gonna have fun singing. It doesn't take long for pitches to fall into place. It's like a game. We, we just, we lose our minds and we just like to have fun. And while they hope to hit all the high notes, the NFL choir is really about the bond these men share, no matter how long it's been since they've graced the gridiron. Sarah Blake Morgan, The Associated Press.